En eerder vanavond sprak ik met Rami Nakle. Hij is uh, Syrië ontvlucht en vecht nu met zijn computer en de sociale media vanuit Libanon tegen het regime van president Assad. Wat hoort hij op dit moment van zijn bronnen in Syrië? Actually, the latest news now that uh, some people, some people from Jisr al shughur whom fled like to the neighbor, to the neighbor villages there, they came back to their houses and all, all their houses and their shops. It's like uh, it's broken and stolen and nothing there, uh, nothing there in their houses. We received report that many, many, many houses after the army break in, many houses are stolen there. Like uh, and now uh, there is uh, there is many tanks moving to Muarrat and Norman and as well in Al-Bukamel and in Deir ez-Zor, the tanks already there, and we are afraid that it's going to be the next flashpoints in Syria. Uh, today in Syria, we received a lot of reports about night protests. Now, night protests, it's, uh, it's a new policy for, uh, for protesters all over Syria. Yesterday, we have more than 12 protests at night, and the day before, it was 15. So, protesters now, they uh, do not... Uh, they do not not just protesting at Friday, but as well protesting every day in the week at the night. How is it possible that the uh, army of Syria is shooting uh, at their own uh, people, the, the, the civilians of Syria? Uh, yeah, actually, that's that's shocking. Not just for uh, for Syrian people, but it's it's shock like the international community. Yes, the army they doing it, and uh, in somehow we need to understand that they have order and it's military order. Some of them have brainwashed, like because they told them you are going to fight armed gangs. We receive eye accounts from uh, from soldiers whom fled. They told us like they agitate us for. Uh, for weeks and weeks that there is a terror a terrorist and armed gangs you're gonna to, sh to shoot them and finally when they in the ground and they face just peaceful protesters many times they are carrying flowers for them and they get military order to shoot the people some of the soldiers refuse to shoot but as we understand and as we know like inside any military unit in Syria there is a unit of secret police this unit is responsible to kill anyone refused to obey order. And this is what's happening all over Syria. Many soldiers refuse to do this, and they pay the price by their life. Uh, the uprising is now in its third month. Um, do you have any chance, because President Assad is, is um, merciless in killing the uprising? Uh, I think the president doesn't have any chance, but absolutely the protesters have all chances. Because, as you said, we are now in the third month of the protest, and now it's more than 60 places. We spotted last Friday more than 60 places uh, of cities and towns went down to protest. So, I, and it's getting wider and wider all over Syria. I think this regime is, doesn't have the chance, not the protesters anymore. And, uh, like, um, this regime, I think, I do believe, really, it's just a matter of time from now on. Because whatever he did and does, it's just already he burned all her, his cards. This regime burned all the cards they have, and they did not manage to... Uh, to stop people from going down to protest. Banias, uh, in Banias, for example, they invade the city, they, they arrest everyone in the towns between 15 and 45, and they take them to the torture camp in the studio, and they torture them for 15 days. And after that, after the military went out, people went down to the street and protest again, and some of them cannot walk very well of because of torture. So they will not manage to break the Syrian protest Will. There is still and no. There is this is obvious all over Syria. Yes, there is still no help of the Go international ahead. community, like in Libya, for example, where the revolutionaries get help from NATO. Uh, are you disappointed that there is yes. still no international help? Uh, Actually, I'm disappointed by the international community, but we did not ask for military aid or, or like, uh, bombing the Syrian army. Absolutely, so far, we do, not, we do not ask for this option. And I think this option is not, uh, is not an option for us at all. We started this, this revolution peacefully, and we will keep it like this, and we will end it like this, whatever the price uh, were. Yes, many people are dying, but we do not want to uh, take this revolution to the next option. Yes, I'm disappointed by international community because they can put more pressure on the Syrian regime. Till now, the international community 
does not delegitimize Assad, and they should do it now because the time is up. No one can t can kill 1,500 of his people, and stay have the legitimacy to rule. Absolutely. So we are disappointed from this po side. <coughs> Rami Nakle from Beirut in Lebanon. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for having me.